thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. Just and in time. Just in time. <laughs> yeah, you ran in the door just as we're headed out. Uh, congratulations, first of all, uh, Golden Globe uh, for, for Mad yeah. Men. Oh, that's just fine. They... That's got to be very exciting. I mean, this is, uh, uh, this role sort of uh, yeah, overnight. This phenomenal. is fantastic. Yeah, for it's you. Uh, it's very strange because it is it's on a, a network that people I'm pretty sure aren't certain exists. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and if they are, I'm pretty sure they think it's A and E. Right, right, uh, right. But it's not. It's AMC. Yeah, uh, it's do a real you, network. Do you have uh, Do you have the, the statue? Tell me, where's the statue? Uh, the, the statue, Globe? because the one I won personally, mm -hmm. I won the year that there was no ceremony because of the writer's strike. Yes. Uh, thanks again, by the way. Um, <laughs> Little thing I did. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so, so they sent it to me in the mail, uh, which is so Hollywood. So classic. That's weird to get your big award in the mail. In the That's mail. how it happened? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I immediately had it mounted to the front of my car. <laughs> uh, and just and drove around Hollywood a little bit. Yeah, that's what I would do. Letting people know. Sure. Like, yeah. what, there was no ceremony. Yeah. So you gotta. Yeah. Put and it then out act there. shocked when someone brings it up. Oh, that. Yeah. No, the car came with it. You should <laughs> really look into it. It's a pa it's a package. Yes. It's so, on the new uh, Taurus. Uh, so it got chipped up a little bit, and I put it back in its box. You're doing the right thing. I, I wanted so. to ask you about Mad Men. Something I I really do love that show. What fascinates me is I want to know how you guys you're smoking constantly and. The Sopranos was a show that I used to watch that made me want to eat. Mad Men makes me want to smoke. I'm not a smoker, but you guys make it look so cool. Well, it was even harder with The Sopranos because we, we share some DNA there. Matt Weiner, who created our yes, show, was yeah. a writer on, on The Sopranos as well. And The Sopranos, uh, made they all had to actually kill people. Right. So it was really hard. Uh, <laughs> they'd run out of people. It was very realistic. It, was it helped. Yeah, people yeah. would be like, I'm in jail again. Right, right. Um, but no, what we smoke, because you're not uh, allowed to smoke indoors in L.A. So right. uh, for the health of others. So uh, uh, we smoke these sort of fake, they're herbal. They're, they're, there's no nicotine in them. Oh. Uh, that said, you are still lighting something on fire and inhaling it. So, so what, what, when you say it's herbal, there's like cinnamon and sage in these cigarettes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Vitamin C <laughs> and, and dreams. <laughs> Uh, oh, I know what you're just, talking about. They smell yeah, awful. Yeah. They they taste like some kind of combination of like soap and uh, pot. And uh, I've uh, tried that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those were lean times for me. <laughs> Let's talk about Thirty Rock. Tina Fey said, "This is a quote uh, of you. Uh, you are the most handsome man. He, they, John Hamm's the most handsome man on the planet. I need to poke a hole in a paper plate to look at him, just like an eclipse." <laughs> John Hamm, what is it like to be that handsome? Well, to be fair, I think, I think Tina makes a fairly good living on comically exaggerating things. Uh, but, uh, but no, I have had to take certain precautions in my, in my personal. I can't believe you've held eye contact this long, honestly. <laughs> uh, you're a brave man. You're burning the flesh you're, around my skull. You're a brave man. You and Harry Hamlin, I just, it's hard to take. It uh, is. Uh, we, we go for a lot of the same parts. Right? <laughs> uh, so, no. uh, but, uh, so what are you doing to protect the world from your handsomeness? It's, uh, it's a combination of things. I, I, try to, I try to wear the darkest sunglasses I can. Very just good. again to protect That's nice people. Of you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, just, I flew out here. I got here yesterday. We, there was some bad weather. Uh, so I wanted to make sure the pilot was completely focused on his job so I did not uh, talk to him or, <laughs> or, or engage, engage in any... It tends to disrupt a flight, does Ooh, it? You yeah, wanna, I can imagine. You don't want to say hi, you don't want to say good <laughs> flight, because he's just going to be thinking, like, oh... That a guy. Good, what a good-looking guy. Into, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, God. Is that a goose? Yeah. <laughs> Even the goose is like, look at that guy in two Fs, <laughs> Platt! Uh, uh, interestingly enough, uh, uh, Tina and I were shooting uh, the final episode of 30 Rock, uh, 30 blocks from where uh, the plane went down in really? Hudson. Really? Really? We were outdoors. Um, you didn't see anything, though? Uh, I did not. Tina did. She was in a car, literally facing the Hudson, saying, and that plane seems awfully low. Uh, I'm not taking credit or, uh, or uh, blame for causing that accident, but... Uh, it's very possible that... We can... were near. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it was caused by your handsomeness, I'm convinced. It is. It has, it has a range. That's all I'm saying. You know what's funny to me? There's a celebrity pairing here I find interesting, which is you have become a little chummy with a cast member on 30 Rock. I'm talking about Jack McBrayer, who plays the page. Jackie Mack. Who's, yeah, there he is. Kenneth! Yeah, Kenneth the page. And you guys... 
Is this right? You guys went to a, like a Knicks we game went to a together. Knicks game. Yeah. It's such a funny. I don't know why. It just makes me <laughs> laugh. The two of you becoming best pals. Because uh, Jack, we know him well. He got started on yes, this show did. playing yes. kicks and, and and as you know, is is the nicest person on the planet. Yes. Like, and it's utterly genuine. He couldn't be nicer. Uh, and so we're at a Knicks game, and of course he is recognized by everybody in the stadium, and everybody wants to come take a picture and say hi and everything. And halfway through the thing, he leaned over to me and goes, I'm real sorry, I'm real sorry. And I said, why? He goes, because no one's recognizing you. <laughs> that bastard. <laughs> I'm man. real sorry, yeah. Man. Uh, well, John's going to be guest starring on uh, how many? Three episodes of Three 30 episodes, Rock? although they're extended over uh, like four or five. There, I, I'm in a few, and then they talk about me for a few. Very nice. And then I come back hilariously to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> the most confident man I ever met. Uh, <laughs> Beginning, that's all beginning tomorrow night at 9.30 right here on NBC. John, so cool to have you on the show. Thank you very much. John Hamm. Come back. Jennifer Goodwin's here. Stick around.